Okay. Hi everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Amazia. Today we're going to learn how to build this highly interactive event management system in Excel. The most beautiful part is that you can actually replicate everything we're going to learn right here to build your own dynamic spreadsheet for your clients. Now let's begin. The first place we're going to, we're going to actually visit is the sales or transactional table where we have the data of our customers being collected and as well the sales reps that actually made the sales and the product which the customer actually purchased. So this very spreadsheet can handle both sales and return, which we're going to be looking at in the detail. Now we have this dynamic calculation that helps us to calculate everything that the customer or that every customer would ever purchase. And it handles that as well. And we have a Dell table separately. We don't actually record the debt being paid to this very table. But every single time we make a record in the other sheet, it appears here and subtracts itself from the balance that the customer ought to have paid to our account company. Now, going back to the uh, interface, we're going to actually look at the dashboard that is associated to everything we've actually collected. I mean, every data we've collected from the customers. Now we can see how we are doing on the weekday basis and we can compare and contrast our products right here. So we have another beautiful dashboard, which I called current day transactional analysis. So in the current day transactional analytic, what we have happening right here is that we are actually collecting the data of day. How many quantity, quantity is being sold today is just two. This is the amount, this is the amount paid, this is the balance, and this is the profit. Now we have one unique customer that purchased this product, and we can actually see how many of our stock are uh, is, is, is actually low, uh, actually low actually, and how many of this stock is on stock and stuff like that. And we can see here it's blanked out because it does not meet up with our specification. So we're going to learn how to build everything for the traffic light as well. So we can choose to see the top and the bottom customers. Right now we are on the top customers, we are showing the top six, we can start from the top one down to the top ten. So if you want to see the top five customers, you click and switch it right there. Uh, you get to see the top one customer, the top two customer, the top three customer dynamically and how you want to see it. You want to see the bottom customers, you're going to see bottom customers, bottom location, all products. You're going to see how you're actually doing based on the percentage level. Now we can see how our sales reps are actually doing. We want to check it on a yellow basis. Now the current year we are into, this is it. So we're going to have it actually being sliced and dyed as well. Now we can go to... Uh, the quick insight as well where we can see how our sales reps are doing on a percentage level and how much they have actually contributed to our company so we can see this very expensive dashboard where we can actually track how much we spend on basal category and monthly on a monthly basis so we can switch from month to month now we've switched to august we can switch from august to september and see how much is spent on that very month, which we can actually learn how to do in a jiffy. And we can compare and contrast our expenses to our revenue, and we get the variance. Now, going back to the interface, let us see what we can actually look at now that is actually, you know, gonna like, oh, I think I wanna watch this. Now is the inventory. We take the inventory of our products. Those are the products we sell. This is, those are the uh, amount of, or the numbers of those products we purchased over time. Every time we make a new purchase, it appears here automatically without having to click anything. All we need to do is to add it to our word, is for we to add it to our add stock table. Now we have how many we've sold from those products, how many were returned, and how many uh, we have in stock currently. Very easy to navigate through. And we have this very change price where we have our price being changed. Like if this price actually got hiked overnight and we don't have it in stock, we have to go to the manufacturer to purchase more of it, but we are not more buying at the rate of 12,000, instead we are buying at the rate of 13,000. So maybe we have to sell at the rate of 14,200 to actually make a very good profit, right? So we don't change it right here. All we change is actually copy this and go beneath this and drop it right here and change the date that the price got effective. You are going to learn how to do this, creating uh, how the, how you can create dynamic price changes in Excel, uh, in Excel is actually going to be with effective from that. So you learn how to do that as well. So we're going to learn how to do a lot of things 
right here so now we can we can see we want to see how to add search reps if you have new search reps your entire bin here you see it appear there and if you have a new product you can actually add the product category right here if the product you have does not have its own category existing right here so you can create a category for the product as well now we talked about handling uh dirt now when a customer want to pay that all we need to actually get is the uh, customers ID that is why this ID is highly important they are very unique you don't have one ID for uh, for three or four different customers no you have one unique ID for every customer even if a, a particular customer purchase hundred times with us on a particular day we have different ID for the customer so that we can track how the customer actually transact with us so when we want to pay the customer that we pay right here and then let actually okay let's look at let's look at this like this one now this very customer now is 10 is 1006 so he still have some balance to actually give it give to us so when we enter 1006 right here and we hit enter <coughs> i beg your pardon so we have everything that has to do with the customer being populated so we want to pay eight thousand from the money guess what when i hit enter we're going to see it subtract itself from here and this is what we get you get it now beautiful we're gonna have it appeared on the transactional table automatically it will appear here and subtract itself from here and add itself up right here so we have this ap and dp which is um now this ap is amount paid and this dp is debt paid as well so it means the debt paid and the amount paid is going to be adding itself right here so we control that in our analytics or in our dashboard so that is how beautiful this could look so and as well actually collect the data of all our um all our all our workers as well so the higher date and the date will terminate their stay with us so we can be able to track all that using that very table as well and we're able to actually uh add categories okay we've shown this as well we've shown this so adding sales reps and now we go to add stocks in the add stock table it's very important that you control how you actually you know record the stocks and every single time you actually make a purchase you need to enter all the detail of the company right here and the most paramount part of it is for you to enter your receipt id so that if something happens, you'll be able to track it right down from your system and give them the detail like okay check this receipt number you're gonna see how i make the transaction and how i pay the money and all of that so now we handle that right here as well so if we own the customer we purchase from we can actually have it you know recorded in another sheet and have it appeared on the dealt page right here that is how beautiful this spreadsheet could be so if you want to learn how to make this and how to create everything we've just seen kindly subscribe to my channel as i'll be dropping a lot of tutorials that actually explain how to do this now we have the expenses tracker we will actually create uh, how to track our expenses how much you spend from our company's money or from our business money or from our stores money so we can actually control that as well by actually keeping the record of all our expenses now we have the date we have a description of what we spend the money on and we can choose from every categories we have right here we can actually switch from either of it and choose okay we spend on a car and truck maintenance and stuff like that so how much do we actually spend so when you get to the brim right here all you just gotta do is to click right here and enter uh new so you can you can see you can actually proceed to start entering your data if you are done with january you can enter february uh march all of that so um we're gonna learn how to do this how to create this and how to switch from one chart to another in like what we saw uh in our dashboard so i hope this will help you really to actually get the overview of what we are about to do of what, or what you're about to get into so kindly subscribe to my channel and actually have you i uh, want to have you come over and over again to watch our um uh, next episode we're going to be dropping on how to actually create this from the scratch we're going to be creating this from zero down to one to all the numbers so we explain everything in detail creating the dashboard how it's analyzed and how you can actually uh, interact uh, with your clients by actually explaining to them what this is all about how this visual can actually help them and how they can actually get to understand their data so if you've watched this extent please hit the like button leave a comment and as well subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell right there to get notified anytime i drop a new video about this thank you for watching